It is not difficult to understand why tourists from all walks of life regard Japan to be a location that they absolutely must go to. Japan is home to pristine ski resorts, colorful concrete jungles, mountaintop lookouts, and fascinating history, all of which contribute to Japan's allure. Some of the world's most extraordinary and one-of-a-kind places can be found within the borders of this country. This includes both big cities and tranquil coastal communities as well as natural attractions. The best part is that you can reach all of these locations with ease because Japan has such a well-developed and user-friendly bullet train system. Today's video is about the top 10 beautiful places to go in Japan. So, before starting the video please like this video, do subscribe, and turn on the notification to our channel for future updates. 10. Kyoto Known worldwide for its wealth of historic temples, colorful gardens, and sacred shrines, Kyoto gives visitors a glimpse into the more traditional side of Japan. The Fushimi Inari Teisha is widely regarded as one of the most revered shrines that can be found within the city. Because of the tens of thousands upon tens of thousands of red tori gates that are spread out around the grounds of Mount Inari, this temple is very easy to locate and recognize. The Kinkakuji Temple and the Kayamizu Dera Temple are also other Kyoto temples that are well worth a visit if you find yourself in the city. Those who are interested in getting a bird's eye view of the city can do so by hiking up Mount Arashiyama and entering the Arashiyama Monkey Park Iwatayama. After making their way to the peak of the mountain, visitors are greeted by expansive views over the city and the landscapes in the surrounding area, as well as hundreds of Japanese macaque monkeys. You may also buy fruits and nuts at the top to feed these active creatures, which is a fun experience in itself. 9. Osaka The proximity of Osaka to Kyoto, which can be reached by train in just one hour, opens up a whole new world of intriguing opportunities. A large number of people travel to Osaka Universal Studios because it features a diverse cast of colorful characters and vivid settings. Examples include Harry Potter, Jaws, Spider-Man, and a lot more. Osaka Castle should be at the top of your list of places to visit in the city if you are interested in visiting historically significant locations. The year 1597 was the year construction began on this magnificent castle, which is located in the middle of a beautiful garden. The castle has undergone multiple iterations of destruction and reconstruction ever since it first came into being. Visitors can learn about the history of Osaka Castle by visiting the museum that is located within the castle. 8. Tokyo The city of Tokyo, which serves as the capital of Japan, is a powerhouse that is home to a vast number of attractions. There is a large selection of temples and shrines available for those who are interested in learning more about the history and culture of the nation. The Senshi Temple, the Gokokuji Temple, and the Kaneji Temple are three excellent choices in this regard. Are you interested in doing some shopping? Takashita Dori in Harajuku and the Toyosa Fish Market are just two of the many streets in Tokyo that have a variety of shops and restaurants. Another option is the Nakamai Shopping Arcade, which is located close to the Senshi Temple. Make sure to get away from the hustle and bustle of Tokyo at some point during your stay. This can be accomplished by climbing to one of the many vantage points that are scattered throughout the city and looking out over the surrounding area. Both the Tokyo Tower and the Tokyo Skytree offer visitors breathtaking perspectives that just must be experienced. 7. Nara One of the most interesting aspects of Nara is the Nara Park, which is located in the center of the city and is home to hundreds of free-roaming deer. There are many other interesting places to visit within the city, such as the Todaiji Temple, the Kasugatesha Shrine, and the Kafukuji Temple, nevertheless, nothing compares the ease of just unwinding in the parkland on a bright day and feeding the friendly animals there. You can even buy deer biscuits at various locations across the park, and the animals will genuflect as they receive their snack. 6. Hiroshima Approximately 3 hours and 30 minutes to the west of Osaka is the city of Hiroshima. Visitors who are interested in the nuclear bombing that took place in 1945 flocked to the city. Visitors are able to gain a deeper comprehension of the devastation that occurred thanks to the city's many points of interest that are related to this event. The Atomic Bomb Dome and the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park and Museum are also included in this. In addition to the bombing, there are a lot of other things to do in Hiroshima, such as visiting Mayajima Island, which is home to the Itsukushima Shrine and its enormous Tori Gate. 
Other things to do include taking the ferry over to the little island, exploring the numerous shrines and temples there, going shopping in the local markets, walking beside wild deer, and obtaining a better view of the Tory Gate while the tide is out. Well, do you like what you are seeing so far? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep watching because you don't want to miss what we have at the number one spot. 5. Lake Kawaguchi There are several different trips that can take you to Lake Kawaguchi, which is one of the best spots to view Mount Fuji from a distance. In addition, this part of the world is home to a variety of breathtaking scenery. A great number of visitors ride the ropeway to the top of Tenjama Park Mountain, where they may take in breathtaking vistas of the lake and the mountains in the area. The top is a well-known lookout point that offers breathtaking panoramas of Mount Fuji. 4. Hakuba Since the quaint community of Hakuba is situated within the Japanese Alps and is only an hour away from Nagano, it is an ideal location for winter sports such as skiing and snowboarding when the snow begins to fall. Travelers will have a difficult time deciding where to go because there are numerous ski resorts, hot springs, and an Olympic ski jumping stadium from the Winter Olympics of 1998. It is possible to go to Akuba from Tokyo by using one of the bullet trains that depart from the city. 3. Nagasaki Nagasaki, like Hiroshima, draws a large number of visitors who are eager in learning more about the nuclear bomb that was dropped on the city in 1945 and how it completely destroyed it. This information is frequently acquired by tourists by visiting the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum. This is where artifacts and photographs from the event can be found. Other than that, Nagasaki Peace Park is another popular site. This park was established to commemorate those who lost their lives as a result of the bombing. 2. Kamakura The coastal community of Kamakura is well known for its many religious sites, as well as its beaches, parks, and other outdoor spaces. The Katokuan Temple, which is home to the famous Great Buddha of Kamakura, is the building that stands out the most in the otherwise unremarkable city. The bronze figure has a height of almost 11 meters and was created in the year 1252. Yugahama is a well-liked location in the city for swimming and surfing, and there are a wide variety of restaurants and other types of businesses located in close proximity to the beach. 1. Sapporo Those individuals who are interested in going skiing while they are in Japan have more than one option available to them. Sapporo, which is located in Hokkaido, Japan's northernmost and most northern island, is one of those options. A variety of ski resorts can be found tucked away in the mountains that are in close proximity to the city, and they are all within a fair distance from the city. These resorts include a large number of paths that are suitable for families. The Sapporo Beer Museum is one of the many attractions that are located closer to the city center and are well worth the time it takes to travel there. Other attractions that are placed closer to the city center include the Sapporo Beer Museum. In addition to that, there is no charge to enter the museum. There are also other alternatives available, such as Odori Park, the Sapporo TV Tower, and the Maruyama Zoo, all of which are guaranteed to keep visitors entertained. So, that's it for today's video. What do you think of the number one spot? Hit us up in the comments and let's chat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for our channel so you never miss what's coming next from us. Thanks for watching.